Hello guys and welcome. Today on Geek Talk, I'm going to be reviewing um, an app that I just happened to come across in the uh, Chrome Web App Store and it's called Speed Dial and uh, it's one of the free apps. And what this app allows you to do inside of your Chrome Web Browser is that when you press on the plus button to get a new tab, instead of getting just regular windows that show like little previews of the web page, what it does is it gives you a very, a very clean, crisp display of the name of the website and it also looks like a little dial like on a like on an old telephone like one of those dials so you press those and it brings you straight to the website that you have and they're fully customizable you can put any site that you want it comes pre-loaded with these little pictures that you see right here these little speed dial um I forgot what they call them the little speed dial pictures right here that have the name of the websites like youtube and twitter and facebook and they have some other ones and they have a they have a nice little list. It's not a extensive list, but they have a pretty nice list of uh, sites that you can put on there to customize your dials. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go to the speed dial tab so I can show you what it looks like. And this is what the tab first looks like after you download it. As you can see, it has the Google search bar up here at the top, which I think is very convenient. Instead of having to go to Google, you can just open up a new tab and you go ahead and you can put in search. You can search for whatever you want to right here and it'll take you straight to the Google page. Uh, here we have the dials, which uh, you can customize the number of rows that you have, and you can also customize the number of columns. So you can have a row, you can have a row of two, and you can have nine columns in each row and things like that. So let's go ahead, I'm going to go to the options, some options right here so I can show you what the options look like. So this is the first thing, this is what I tell you about the number of rows and the number of columns. You can go all the way up to nine on the rows, the same thing as the columns, you can go all the way up to nine. You can customize the dial distance. This is the distance that the dials are together versus how far they are apart. So the more you push it this way, the closer they are together, and the more you push it to the right, the further they are apart. You can also put a background image to your dials, but it but it's not uh but it has to be uh, you have to put the URL the URL in here to where you get the background image it doesn't support local background yet but as they say we'll soon support local background image sorry for that so you can go ahead and you can import a background image I just happen to have an image that I wanted to put in here so I'll put that one in there I'll also put this one in the description below if you can't if you can't see it but it's a, it's a Mario background so we can go ahead and set that and once that comes up there you go you got your nice little Mario background for your dials and this can work and this is possibly work with any picture that you could possibly possibly pull off of the web just make sure that you have the URL the URL excuse me and uh, you can go ahead and set that as your background you can also set the color themes for the color of your dials so your dials can have a specific color that you want them to have this is my favorite color is green I'm gonna go ahead and make my dials green and I'll scroll down to the rest of the options that we have and they have some other little things that you can turn on and off you have display search box bookmarks recently closed tabs the page display you can display the options button whether you not you want to and when you're finished you can click on I finished setting my dials you don't want to see this little thing right here in the corner you can go ahead and you can get that done if you want to pull it back up you can just press alt and a and you can go ahead and get that back up but when you're on a specific particular website you can click the little dial icon right here and you can either open up the speed dial tab which is the one I showed you before or you can add this current page to a dial so whatever page you're on let's just say you're on um, page you want to go so let's say you're on a pirate bay you're on a pirate bay and you want to add that to your dial you can go to click the dial you can put in your information if there's a picture <coughs> excuse me if there's a picture you can go ahead and put the picture in there if not it'll just show a display it'll just show a screenshot of the page and you can also have it to refresh or you can also to have it show shortcuts or no shortcuts you can have a shortcut or you can customize it to have the shortcuts however you want to do it for when you want to pull up the dial page let's go ahead and save that and just gonna go ahead and set up a page or two to show you how the icons look 
So you just click on one of the dials to take you to the edit page. Of course, the first page we're going to put everybody's favorite. And put in Facebook. And then you have to type in the URL. The URL. Damn, can't get that word right today. URL. Facebook. I keep pressing K today for some reason. Okay, and here we go. We have the dial image URL. You can put it in, or they they also like I said they have pre-defined logos. So you can click on the little drop-down box, and it has pre-designed logos. So you just go through the list. We find the one for Facebook. We click on it. We click save. And what it'll do? It'll automatically populate. There it is, Facebook, a nice little Facebook icon. And you go ahead and collect on it, click on it. It'll send you right to your Facebook page. There you go. And as your Facebook page takes you right there. Or you can go ahead and you can customize it. Instead of taking you to the home page, you can customize it to take it to your profile page, or you can customize it to take it to anybody's profile page in particular that you want to go ahead and the first person's profile page so let's say you have a girlfriend and you click on Facebook the first person's page you want to go to when you first get on Facebook is your girlfriend or boyfriend's page you can set it to go to that particular page instead of having just to go straight to the Facebook home page let's go back to the dial screen that's that one and we'll do one more let's do um, let's do one of the sites that I go on frequently let's do CNET you see that oh when you put the title and it comes up then if you say it, but you put the title and it comes up above the tab right there so you can put a title in it doesn't necessarily have to be the name of the website you can put the title whatever you want your little nickname for it but it comes up right there above the dial and of course we have to put this in again cnet.com we have a predefined there's a predefined logo in here for CNET. There it is. Go ahead and click save. And once again, there's our little icon for CNET. You go ahead, you click on it, and once again, just like the Facebook, just like the Facebook dial, it takes you straight directly to the CNET page. And there you go. So there you are guys, that has been my little preview of the speed dials app that's located in the chrome uh, web app store there are other apps that you can go ahead and do this was one of the free ones there are there are other couple of ones that you can pay for I found this one interesting and I thought I'd make a video about it and show you guys and maybe you find it interesting too and you can go ahead and you can download it and you can add it to your chrome extensions it's just a nice little extension to have instead of just looking at the plain old you know the plain old regular tabs that you've been to and it shows a screenshot of the page it gives you a nice little uh, excuse me it gives you a nice little uh, display of the page name and it just makes it look better and as you can say you can customize your background so instead of having a backgrounds that Google gives you like the like this one that I have right here you can have the little dials you can have your little background page and everything and you can customize the way you want and it just looks nice so it's about my little overview of that of speed dial I'd like to thank you guys for watching uh, you can catch me uh, you can take this and you can watch any of my other videos on here on uh, YouTube you can also uh, find me on Facebook I'm on facebook.com slash black you can go ahead and uh, you can add me as a friend on there and I'll make sure to add you back so uh, like I said once again I'd like to thank you guys for watching this little tutorial of speed dial for the Chrome Web App Store and um, I'll see you guys later